Okay, welcome back. Doing a, uh, a, a real quick video, or what I'm hoping is a quick video today. Um, I have a upcoming project where I'm building a, uh, a table. It's like an entryway table to put your keys and stuff like that on it. Um, but the uh, customer I'm working with, the client I'm working with, wants the legs to have some taper to it. Um, I don't have those capabilities at the moment. So what I'm gonna be building today is a very simple, or what I'm hoping is a simple build, uh, a taper jig, um, something I can run through uh, the table saw and uh, be able to put these these angles on it for, for the legs. So I'll show you kind of some of the, the hardware here. Okay. So this is a, uh, a cutoff from the uh, bed build that I did. I'll put a link for it up, uh, up here. Uh, it's three quarter inch ply. Um, I have some T-Track that I'm gonna be uh, incorporating into this. Yes, two different colors, two different brands. Um, and then some uh, T-Track knob kit. And then uh, I'm gonna call these hold down clamps that I'll be able to hold down the material that I am going to uh, be tapering. So, uh, and I forgot one thing. And then a really nice piece of cherry. Uh, I'm not sure but whatever. Um, I'll incorporate that as well. Um, and uh, I'm really going to kind of do this from the seat of my pants. So uh, I'm going to do it, uh, I don't know, I think this is 10 or 11 inches wide, probably 18 to 24 inches long, something like that. But um, I'm just going to do it so it visually looks good. Um, I'm not going to put a runner into it uh, for the track on my table saw. Uh, instead, I'm just going to square it up uh, to the fence on my table saw, and we'll just always use the fence as the uh, uh, um, as a piece that this is going to be running on, so I don't have to put that uh, piece of hardwood in here. Just make life a little bit easier. So, real simple build, real uh, real effective, and uh, should help me with my next uh, build when it comes up. Okay, we're moving quite along here by a nice pace. I'm real happy with that. Um, I only got a couple things left to do here. I need to take the T-tracks, um, put them into the uh, plywood. Um, I've got a three quarter inch bit here um, that I'm going to uh, plunge into the wood here. Uh, before I do that though, I have to take the T-track and get it down to final length. Um, it's aluminum. I've cut it on the miter saw before, so I'm just gonna run it real quick through the miter saw. Um, like I said, get final uh, dimension on those, uh, do my three cuts in the aluminum, drop some screws and assemble it and it all should come together real nicely here. Okay, so here's uh, here's what I'm thinking here. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna drop a piece of aluminum here, piece here, 
um, and that will allow this piece to kind of move independently. Um, and then I will have one uh, sunken into the top of this that will allow the clamps to to hang over and uh, grab onto the piece that we're working on. So uh, again, everything's going smooth. I'm happy with where we're at and I'm going to uh, continue to plug away here. Okay, so real quick, what I'm doing here is I'm using the, uh, the tracks here. I'm gonna call them parallels here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put the router up and on the lowest depth or setting that I have on the, uh, on the router here, I'm gonna loosen this up. And then what I'm gonna do is, this is the, I'm gonna call it the stop pin. What I'm gonna do is set that stop pin right there. So I know that that is my lowest depth that this will go. Um, and then what I can do then is back this up. Okay. I can back this up and then take the parallels out. And then I know that this setting here, this lowest setting is going to match this. So I should be flush then, um, when I run this through, um, when I run the router through here, so I can back it up two steps. I can do a pass. Well, that doesn't even look like it hits. Um, I can do a pass at that depth and then do a second pass at this depth and know that I'm at final final height for this. So um, I really like that feature. It makes life a lot simpler as well. So I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, so what you should have just seen me do is finish the router to cut the uh, tracks for my, my T-tracks to come into. Um, and then what I was just doing there was putting the first track, uh, actually gluing it into the wood. So um, I have three quarter inch plywood, uh, half inch uh, T-tracks. So I'm using like a quarter inch of material for it to sit under that. So I don't have any uh, screws or fasteners that I can put in there. 
Um, I don't know if I can even find anything that short, to be honest. So um, what I'm going with is some of this uh, Gorilla Glue. My T-Track is fitting in here very snug as it is. Um, so I'm comfortable with just doing the glue. Um, so what I did was I just did a, a, uh, a thick bead. I came short on the end, so I didn't have squeeze out at the ends. Um, and then had just enough extra in there to kind of come through the countersunk holes. So hoping that that acts as a fastener too. Um, and the other thing I did on top of that was um, scuffed up the bottom of the T-Track just to give the glue some more surface area to grab onto. Hoping to make this more successful. I don't see any reason why I, this won't work at all as is, but uh, just trying to give myself as many opportunities to be successful as as possible. So. So there's untouched track here. And again, it's just a light scuffing. It's maybe 120 grit and it's a used 120 grit, but just putting some swirl marks in here. Okay, everything's dry. Um, it was definitely more than 24 hours. It's probably been uh, two or three days since I've last been out here. Um, I'm gonna take everything out of clamps, uh, kind of do a quick, I'm gonna call a dry run here. Um, the only other thing I have to do, which I haven't done yet, other than test it out and make sure it works the way I assume it will, is I have to put some holes into the back of this. Um, for the, the T-Track knobs uh, to clamp this down to the track that's on here. Other than that, I'm done. Uh, oh, one other thing. Um, I got this little piece of the Sapelli. Um, I'm gonna put it onto the end of this top, this top track piece here. Um, and it'll just work as a holder. Um, so when I put the uh, wood uh, up on here, it'll have something to just kind of work as a stopper. Uh, other than that, after that, I'm, I'm good to go. Um, so I'm going to uh, put the hole in here for the T-Track nuts here. Um, put a little piece of this on the on the end of the wood, uh, assemble it, and give it all a give it all a go. So that's what we're gonna do next. piece came off it was flawless the only thing that uh, the only thing that tripped me up was having one of the uh, feet the feet uh, placed in a bad spot um, all I did was kill the uh, uh, kill the power to the to the saw um, reposition the foot so it wasn't in the cut path and it it cut just fine so uh, quick easy simple build um, the glue uh, seemed to have set up real nicely um, and it's a project, uh, that ultimately should have only taken me like a day, but with glue, t with, uh, glue up, uh, it took me a little bit, you know, let's say a day and a half total. Um, 
nice easy project and it should really help me out uh, in the future with these, uh, this table I have uh, coming to um, where I want to have those legs uh, tapered on there. So um, no complaints here. Uh, nice easy build. Hope you, uh, hope you got something out of this. If you got any questions, leave them below. Uh, likes, dislikes, subscribe uh, for more content and then uh, make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Uh, other than that, like I've said in past video, I'm going to kind of start doing a mix of cutting boards along with some other projects uh, that I have working on, um, you know, kind of in the background stuff to do around the house type of thing um, and, and get a good mix of stuff that way. So um, again, nice, easy, fun, fun build uh, and, and hope uh, this helps someone out there because that's what I'm looking to do here. So uh, thanks again for taking the time and, uh, and hope you liked it. Thanks again.